Hello guys, this is me from East Tarantulas. Today I'm going to try out a different angle for some rehousings. <clears throat> I'm going to be transferring my um, <clears throat> Brachypelma albopilosum and Brachypelma bomai. Now let's start out with a supposedly easier one because I know my uh, bomai will flick hairs like crazy for sure. Let's put this thing back here. So like I said, I'm just trying this angle out. I don't know how it'll turn out. So if it looks like shit, let me know. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. No point in putting this off, because um, it'll kill us either way, right? Okay, they won't kill you, they're actually really nice pets. Let me go with the feeding response. No, okay. Move back a little bit. Okay. Uh, the water dish is really in the way right now, so I'll take that out. Um, that's a uh, weird. I don't want this going everywhere, so I'll just. Yes, that's fine, sure. I'll clean up afterwards, I guess. Okay. okay. There's a lot of sprinkles on there. Okay. So, um, one thing I didn't think of was what now? Okay, honestly, he's being a lot more chill than I expect him to be. Other times he's giving me way more of a hassle. He's actually kind of, kind of chilled out now. What a Cutie, to be honest. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the Albo Pylosin. No hair kick or anything. I'm kind of surprised, actually. He's been really calm. So I'll add in a water dish for him later. Also, he cleaned out his current one. And then let's now grab him... The Bomai. I figured they... Uh, could use a bit of extra space, you know, because they are in fairly small enclosures right now, considering their size. A lot of people would say these are fine, the enclosures, but I like to give my teas a little bit more extra space. Not too much, but a bit. It is already a lot more skittish than Boma. For sure, we're gonna be kicking hairs. Okay. Take the shot as well, so we've got room to work with a bit more.
gorgeous spider. No hair kicking so far again. I'm really surprised. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Come on, dude. I know, I know. Just get in there, okay? That wasn't too bad, was it? And there we have it. I can feel myself getting more and more confident with these as time goes on. A few months ago I'd be shaking like crazy for this. But now it's actually not really really easy. Maybe because I'm starting to get to know my trenches better and stuff. So here we have it. Brachypelma alvopelosum and Brachypelma bomai have been rehoused. I reckon this will do them for like a molt or two. So this is Brachypelma, that'll take a while. Although they should molt in the near future. The Boma is definitely getting a bit dark, I think. I don't really know about the Albopolo, so I can't really see that well. But yeah, they should molt soonish because their cycle's coming up. But yeah, these are the Brachypelmas rehoused. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right, guys, we're gonna rehouse my Circopelma and Gustin into the new glass Fibarium we set up. So let's hope she um, cooperates and doesn't kick too much. Right now she's in her height, so then we'll try removing the height. The hide has been removed. Now we'll cover. Oh, she was not happy with that. Oh, she's very skittish. Sorry girl, you're gonna like this new place more, I promise. Come on. Don't make me pinch your legs up. Not making it easy on yourself. Move these legs. Yes, move that leg. Yes, get in there, yes, that's it, good girl, oh that's a very stressed spider, oh look at her, she's all crunched up, okay. Let's quickly introduce her into the new enclosure.
she has entered the new enclosure. Oops. There we have it. Okay, that's the next one. Okay guys, now we'll be doing the Acanthus Curiogenicola. Oh, I know this girl will be fun, so... <laughs> Try to uh, to get right into it. I'm already kicking here, of course. As we expect of this girl. She's making it a bit easier for me. Get her out of there, though. Come on, girl. Okay, she's turning around towards the... She doesn't seem to want to come out, does she? Where's my focus? Like that fits for the bottle holes. There we go. I care. Please screw it. Yes, you can do it. Come on. There we go. That wasn't that difficult, was it? There you go, honey. All that hair kicking and drawing if that's really worth it. Yes, beautiful girl in her enclosure. And this is the next one now. Okay, this is the bracket plama calum murgi. She's also hiding out in her hideout, so let's remove the hide and see how she reacts to that. Not pleasant as could be expected, but she's a pretty girl. So let's cup her. Oh. Very bolty. The 
because that happens when you remove the height. Pinching my legs. I don't think I am. I'm scrunched up in a bottle, aren't we? to the new home she goes. She climbed all the way up to the corner. Oh well, let's go to the next one. Okay, this is the bracket from the wagons. So let's see what mood she's in. I'm not so fond of removing the hide anymore because it makes him kind of freak out. Oh well. Was this one was a lot calmer than yours, but I see I let it go of the bottle and she almost bolts out. Saw our legs in. There we go. very pretty. Right into the new height she goes. I wish they'd all go like that. She was really chill. Got a lot of water dishwashing to do after this video. Brachypalma Vagans. 
And the little cork too. Let's get to the next one. Okay, next up is the Brachytama Sabulosum. Uh, I don't know if you know the reputation of Sabulosum, but let's see what mood this one's in. Sure, do make me jump sometimes still. I'm not pinching off any of your legs. No, we appear to be good. Oh, that's a prep posture. All right then. Can we just, just go out, please. Don't kill me. Just, just come out the ball. Just come out the ball and little friend, right? Right. Yes. Exactly. Still friends, right? No hurt feelings. Sweet Sabadosin. I love all teas to give a trap posture. Of course, I'd eat the Sabadosin. So, uh. Here she is, and her beauty in the new enclosure. Alrighty, awesome. Let's close off the lid. There we go. All right, now we're doing the Bacopalma auratum in my mail. Let's see what mood he's in. Usually he's fairly docile, he's like a pet rock pretty much. pretty calm. Just want to get him out in the open a bit more. Then I can properly cut him. He's probably like my most handleable tea. Just kind of chills out. Let's 
Sorry for my intrusion, little dude. There you go. Your new home. Oh my, I love that species. It's so gorgeous. It's actually stunning. Look at that. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Alright, let's do the next one. Okay, now we're doing the Brachypelma smithi. This one though. And there's the hair kicking. Absolutely no need for the hair cooking, my dude. Oh, you're gonna climb in there. Alrighty. Let's get this out of the way first. to his Valvaro that I made for him. He's in that tunnel. Awesome, let's get the next one out, and probably the last one. And now last but not least, Rocky Palma Mori. A must have, in my opinion. Let's see how we're gonna go about this. Hmm. The laying line doesn't seem to do anything. Please. I would highly appreciate that. No, 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 Mr. Calm. Let's come over here. Let's go for a walk. Trying just can be so stubborn. You know that. But yeah, there we go. Da 
Abby girl. I mean, she's not quite in there, but she's on there. It's better than nothing. She's in like a semi trip pose as well. Yeah, that's a trap posture right there. <laughs> Funny. All right. Let's uh, close her up and then start bothering her. So she can get to exploring. Alrighty. Those were the eight rehouses. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope the thieves will enjoy their new fancy homes. And I'll see you guys in the next video when I I'll do like a proper outro later. So yeah, peace. Okay guys, I'll be getting my bracket Palmar Rapid Mother enclosure because um I've prepared a new one for her. And I need decorations that are in with her right now. So um for that I'll need to get this girl out of here. I hope she's nice and that she won't like do anything stupid like that. Okay then. I'll just start plucking some decorations out already. Usually she's pretty chill, so I'm not that insanely worried, but Caution has never killed anyone, right? So I'll be careful with her. Because she is my biggest tarantula. We need to respect that. I'm not really sure what she's trying to do right now. But, oh well, we will just take what we can, all we can. Ideally, I just want the cork bark as well. She can stay in here while I get the cork bark out for as much I care. I don't really want the decorations to decorate your new home with. So if she wants to stay in the enclosure. Perfectly fine with me. There we go, it's everything we want. So um, we'll leave her in here for a second and set up her new home. Sorry for robbing you of all your things, girl, but um, yeah, we'll get you in a new home real soon. So see you in a bit, guys. So I finished setting it up, so let's get this bigger out. <clears throat> well, for some reason I'm not expecting her to cooperate much, I don't know why.
let's just try and put a cup over and see what happens. Uh, and she bolted right into the cup. Okay. So, um, this is her new home. And this is the big girl. So, without further ado, Let's pop her straight in. I already have any means of poking her out, so I'm considering just laying her wander out on her own. But we'll see about that. In a bit when we know how she'll act. I'll give her a minute. Put some leaf flip as well. And also purge this from the old enclosure. I know she'll probably toss it around everywhere, so we won't put too much. I know you're not the greatest climber, but come on, girl, come down. Oops, I almost tossed the camera over. Well, she's sitting up straight, sort of, but like flowing. There we go, she's going down. Yes, you go, girl. That's the way to go. her new home she goes let's close this off quickly it's quite a sketch girl isn't she and there we have it our bratty palma our atoms rehoused to an enclosure where she can't fall to her death anymore and with a live plant even. Woo! Look at that. Happy days. Okay. Let's do the GBV. Okay. It's the GBV's turn to um 
move to a better place. There's not really anything wrong with this enclosure, I just don't really like it as much. It's a lot of hair cooking for sure. Have it be butter up. Without too much of problems. So that's good. The way you did. Now let's get to her new and improved home. Well hopefully her. She's on sex, I have no clue what sex she is. But if she's a little hair flicker for sure, that's one thing. We do know. Now let's grab it. There we go. That's the GBB rehoused. Now before you say she doesn't have a height, I'm kind of hoping she'll web up around this corner here and make one of her own, or like under this leaf or something. So that's why she doesn't have a height, and she didn't use the one she had anyway. So yeah, that's the GBB rehoused. Let's hope she enjoys her new home. <laughs> 